I mean, come on. Come on. This is not real, right? Right? This is real. The Twins Guardians game was decided on a two base wild pitch while you're on. You ought to run. Was on the mound in the bottom. No, no, that's not real. That's not that's not even a space on the bingo card. That couldn't have happened. This ball just takes off like a rocket off Gary's shin guard. And yeah, Ernie Clement scores from second. I don't want to talk about that game anymore. No, twins were up three to nothing off a Jay Cave homer, which is comical in itself. They lose four to three. Bailey Ober was great uh, in his return. Five shutout innings. Other guys in the comeback trail here were seen with the Saints, Ryan Jeffers. He could only DH today, but he went deep. Saw that nice single he had, and then a three-run home run to tie the game in the eighth inning. Uh, so hopefully he'll be back with the Twins soon. Jorge Polanco also making a rehab appearance in this one. Uh, you'll see him getting a hit, but unfortunately he was uh, kind of rumored to be playing seven innings tonight, only made it five. So I think that's kind of a bad sign uh, for him. We'll see if he's out there tomorrow. Trevor Larnick did not play for them today. who played yesterday and Nick Gordon was removed from the Twins game. So another injury there to deal with. Uh, Edward Julian for Wichita, a guy who kind of factors into the second base situation somehow, um, draws a walk here and looking very non-runner-ish, steals a base on a perfect pitch to steal on. Uh, I think he even, even he thought he was out on this one, though. Uh, but called safe, that's, that's you know, the, the rule on the field is all that matters. And then he hits an opposite field two-run double here. This Midland Stadium might have the weirdest outfield dimensions. Uh, but anyway, those two runs were the only two runs Wichita would score, and actually they won this game. They let they held up that two to one score. But Julian once again kind of lulling the defense into uh, not uh, checking him, and he steals third base. Did not come around to score in that inning, but he's having a great year. Again, Wichita won two to nothing. Cedar Rapids, man, this is a booking problem. Okay, everybody knows you can't book a better opening act than the headliner, and this was the guy who's saying the national anthem. In Cedar Rapids tonight, and I mean, how are you supposed to follow that up? Of course they came out tight. Of course. What did you expect? Walk, single. All right, well, all right, that's all right. Just, you know, get a double play. Oh, okay. Hit by pitch, no outs, bases loaded, and South Bend gets a sacrifice fly to take the lead, and the throw goes through, and both runners advance. And, you know, that's going to come back to bite them. Two-run double up next. Orlando Rodriguez, the starter for Cedar Rapids, did not make it through the first inning. Um, and this was, again, an elimination game coming into this game. Winner advances, loser goes home. A wild pitch from Rodriguez just continues to get worse. And with the infield drawn in, the fourth run of the inning score. So the Colonels really just didn't have much of a shot in this one. Nine to three was the final. Colonels are done. No more Cedar Rapids Colonels games this year. Their season is over. South Bend advances. Bummer to see. But Fort Myers lived to see another day. They lived to fight another day, baby. The Because they got rained out. Uh, they, they will play tomorrow at noon, and this will be an, an elimination game as well. So fingers crossed that the Mighty Muscles advance. Thank you to all the members. Here are the premium members of the channel. Thanks, everybody, for watching this video. We'll talk again soon.